In this lesson, we'll be looking at linear functions. Your learning target is I can graph linear functions on the coordinate plane. But we're going to be looking at more than just graphing. We're going to try to take a look at how all of these different representations tie together. How does a table, a graph, an equation, and a verbal description of a linear function, how are they all related? So we are given the verbal description, and we have to figure out the equation, the table, and the graph. We'll start with the description, the line has a y-intercept at 0, 5 and a slope of negative 2. So if you were given information about this line, what would you do first? Go right to the equation, go to the table or the graph. I think I'm going to use this ordered pair, and I'm going to put a 5 right here. And then I'm going to graph on my y-intercept a point at 5. Now it says it has a slope of negative 2. Remember, for slope, we like them as fractions because we like to think of rise over run. So I can go over here to my initial value, my um, y-intercept, and I can drop down 2 and go to the right one. And I continue that pattern all the way across my paper. I go up to my initial value. I go up 2 and to the left one. So my line is going to pass through those points. Now I can just interpret these points from the graph and write them on the table. I can say, oh, this point here is 1, 3. This point is 2, 1. But I can also start to notice that there's a pattern in the table. Notice x's are increasing by 1, and notice y's are decreasing by 2. That's by nature of the fact that the slope is negative 2. So going backwards, we're actually adding 2 here. And my equation of my line, remembering y equals mx plus b, my slope is negative 2, and my y-intercept is 5. So that's when the verbal description was given. Let's look at another example. Here the graph is not given. The verbal description is not given. But the table is given. So we can take the information from the table. I always like to look for my initial value, my y-intercept. And I like to graph that first. 0, comma, negative 1. And in my slope-intercept form, I know my, my y-intercept is negative 1. Now slope. Uh, we can just graph these points negative 2 comma 3, negative 1 comma 1, 0 negative 1, and now I can see the pattern is going over or you can say down 2 into the right one, right? Because in fact that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the slope. So down 2 into the right one, my slope then is going to be a negative 2 over 1. My y-intercept is 0 negative 1, and my equation is y equals negative 2x minus 1. Just want you to be aware you can also find the slope in the table of values because remember we do change in y over change in x. How do you get from 3 to 1? That's down 2. How do you get from negative 2 to 1? Up 1. And change in y over change in x is another really great way to find the slope. Negative 2 over 1 is still negative 2. Let's look at another representation. Okay, in this case, they've given us the graph. We have to figure everything else out. So let's do that. Let's take the graph. Again, I love to start with my y-intercept. Looks like it's 0, 1. And so I can fill that right here. Now for my slope, why not use rise over run from the graph since the graph is already there? This is decreasing. It's a negative slope. It's negative 3 over 2. I can jump right into my equation right now. y equals negative 3 halves x. Don't forget the x. Plus 1. And the, um, the table of values, I can just pick these right off from the graph. It's 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left. This looks like it would be 7. 
negative 2 comma 4. Do you see the pattern as x increases by 2, y decreases by 3? So this has to be negative 2, right? And it is. This has to be negative 5. All right, so the last one that we haven't really um, looked at, I'm going to encourage you to check out. We have the equation, except it's not in slope-intercept form, so that's something to think about. You want to fix it up so that it is in y equals mx plus b form. Go ahead and fill out your table, fill out your graph, and your verbal description, and put your video on pause, come back and check. Let's see if we agree. So hopefully you knew to divide everything by 2. Now I can jump right from here to my graph because I know if the y-intercept is 4 and my slope is negative 1 half, that's down 1 to the right 2. Up 1 to the left 2, that slope is negative. My y-intercept is at 4, 0 comma 4. My slope is negative, oh, negative 1 half, excuse me. And now I can fill up my table of values, 0, comma, 4. Two, comma, three, four, comma, two. And I can see the pattern here, and I can see the pattern here. Y is decreasing by one as X increases by two, therefore going this direction. We have hopefully a better understanding of the table, the description, the equation, and the graphical form of a linear function.